Hey YouTube, Impact YG over here, what's going on? Um, I just want to give a shout out to Team Innovation for the guest upload. I really appreciate that man, you're awesome for that, for responding back to my email. Alright, if you don't know, I'm Rod, this is Eric, this is Chris, and this is just three of our members of Impact YGO, and we're coming to you for a bandless discussion and prediction. Now first of all, we're going to start off with a card that I really think is bad for the game, Wavering Eyes. <laughs> I play a pendulum deck, you go to, you play somebody else. And I'm telling you, if you get wavering eyes for four, you're probably not gonna win. It's impossible. 99.9 a chance. It's probably not gonna happen. All right, <laughs> it's it's too good. I mean, I use it faithfully, and as a matter of fact, sometimes I feel like I need it for the deck. But you know, that's just me. Some people don't need it, but some people do. And but I just really feel like it's just very bad and unhealthy for the game, especially since Konami is trying to push. Everybody to use a pendulum deck, you know, but I think it was a big mistake for making that car. It's too good. Then it's a quick play on top of that. It'd be different if it wasn't a quick play. That'd be so much better. But four it's a quick effects. play. Four different effects in sequence. Four effects. In sequence. And it's like a generic cowboy because you can wave an eye for game. Oh yeah, you can wave an eye for game. It's a Stratos. It searches and it removes player power. It doesn't target. I don't play Pendulum, so it's a problem. I play Pepe, and I use it defensively. So I don't actually just do it to destroy my skills. But now I'm coming in. I use it defensively. I wait till they actually want first, and then I change mine. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Another card, um, we're going to talk about Instant Fusion. Now, Instant Fusion and Northern. You know, of course, they pretty much go together, but you can instant fusion almost anything. You can, you can instant fusion Panzer Dragon, you can instant fusion Winda, and she can't be destroyed by Carly Face, so she's just gonna be there. <laughs> and she's not? She's not gonna be there? She blows herself up. Oh, okay, okay, so if Winda wasn't summoned properly, she'll blow herself up. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. You still get sheep off there, and then you get oh, yeah. to bring sheep back. It's a generic way, you didn't really beat the requirement, but you still end up getting a big board with you. It's ridiculous. It's, ridiculous. It's, it's too good. I mean, it's almost become a staple. <coughs> just, just cards for free. Yeah. yeah, cards for free. I mean, if you look back, life points is not. That, that's back, nothing. Back then, when when Dweller was made, he was meant to like go against Mermaids. Now, it's the fusion. It kind of makes it makes Dweller a broken card. So I had to make Captain G for saying that. I took that from him. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. Like he plays mermaids too, so he abuses instant fusion, and I get sick of it. I get yeah, sick of it. Instant fusion. Nor summon Norton, brings back dragoons, overlay dweller, detach, get dragoons effect again and again and again. It's, it's sad, man. It's too good. It's, it's just too good. But we don't really know if Konami's gonna hit instant fusion or Norton. Uh, we just have to wait for that. I mean, they're probably gonna hit. <coughs> They're probably going to hit the instant fusion more than likely and leave Norton where he's at. Because, I mean, who's going to sort, who's going to summon Norton Nobody the runs right way? Three times. Yeah. Uh, now, another card. A card in which I personally do not like. That I mean, I feel like it should be banned, but I know Konami's not going to ban it. I freaking hate <laughs> Domain of the True Monarchs. This guy right here plays Monarchs, and that, that card just kicks my ass, man. I don't lose the Monarchs, I lose the Domain. Um, shout out to Team Samurai for that, because uh, it's true. I mean, how many of you actually lose to Monarchs? You can't play. You, you can't play if they got the field spell and the Tribute Summon Monster. And even, even if they don't have a Tribute Summon Monster, they can make one on your turn. It's sick, man. It's that's sick. That's a guaranteed at least 5,600 hitting you in the face next yes. turn. And saying that, I feel like Stormport is another card. It's probably either going to be banned or limited. Possibly semi-limited. I mean, we don't really know what Konami's going to do. But um, <clears throat> that card is it's a little too good. I mean, it's a lot better now than it used to be, considering that they got their new support. 
But I mean, it's that car is just too good. I mean, they can use it on your turn. They can caress on your turn with that. I mean, they summon Ether. So then Ether summons Caress. Like, pop, 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 pop. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, what's that? Name? Dark Destroy. Oh yeah, Dark Destroy. Dark Destroy is the only problem with the deck, other than the Italian reasoning. But that's degenerate because they didn't run that at first. But the Dark Destroyer, the 10 can, you, you, if you actually pick the Dark Destroyer and have an accident, it, it's either on the end phase or your main phase. If they're gonna summon the Dark Destroyer and pop their car, or Dark Destroyer and pop the other Dark Destroyer from last turn, he searches out something else and makes the OTK longer. It really stretches out the end phase. Because usually the only, people, only thing the end phase is for, normally for people, is to search. But now it's become a whole different turn for them. It's like they get two turns before your turn. Yeah, and I feel like, the big ships of Cosmos, they, I feel like they, they can just be summoned just way too easily, man. Like, you can call the hunt that shit. That is like, you can call the hunt, bro, oh my gosh. Call the hunt, uh, does Dark Destroyer get his effect when he's calling Yeah, he gets his effect. He gets his, Dark Destroyer gets his effect. Dark Destroyer gets his effect when he is call of the hunt. What in the world? That, and that's the sick. And then he already can't be targeted. The only way I have to get over that car is, I either had to beat over it or I had to summon Ignis to shuffle that motherfucker back. Yeah, um, I gotta replace Gaius with the scales or Utopia the Lightning. So. Yeah, and we're gonna say Dark Destroyer Limited. Limited. Which is not really gonna hurt them much because they can search it and use it over and over and over. And it's not gonna hurt them. Dark Planet is coming soon, so we don't even know what it does. Yeah, we don't even know what Dark Planet does. Um, and like, I mean, and putting Dark Story at one just it decreases their chances of opening up with it. But another thing that aids Dark Destroyer's existence is emergency teleport. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if this car should be banned or what, but I mean, they need to do something to it. It doesn't need to be no more than one, honestly. Uh, the car is just too good. You it's still three like days. The deck's already consistent. Yeah, it's very consistent because they they still have reasoning, and you can hit Ghost Over off it. You can hit Ghost Over off it. Monarchs hit the Blue Layer. They can hit the, the Farm Girl or the Ten Can or the Sword Trooper. Yep. So it's not. So yeah, by hitting E Tilly, it doesn't just affect Cosmos. It affects Super Quantums because that um, that Alfin <laughs> Super Quantums has it's that the car is too good. It's broken. Um, I don't know why it's a common or a rare, or whatever it is. But that and blue layer. Yeah, but like all of them. Yeah. Oh, that was very okay. Oh, okay. Super quantum monarchs. They use it. It's a lot of different ways to, to use their car. If you can search at Ghost Ogre, it's different different things you can do. Because Ghost Ogre says hand or field to blow. Oh yeah, Ghost Ogre is a psychic. So it's another target. Pretty much a hand or field trap. But I mean, but even with that, like. Yeah. Like having E Telly for the blue layer just helps that deck so much because I mean they have cards that can search the outfit. Yeah. Um <laughs> and everything and like when they use all this stuff, uh, which one of them is the sit to the radar, shuffles everything back. Blue layer. Oh so, so there's that's blue layer, shuffles everything back, recycles and proceeds to get your tail Greg Madness. Yeah, He's, Tower 2.0. Yeah, I just don't understand Konami's logic. They ban towers, but they make a better tower. And it, it makes no sense to me, but I guess Konami's still a business. They have to make money. I understand that. But um, on that note, with e -Telly, yes, definitely at one. Definitely. Um, let's see, another card. Controversial card. Yeah. Yes. He infamous, the second most infamous card on that band list. The first one was probably Stratos, but he was home next time. It's the time that has had so many rumors of coming back. Price drops, price spikes, yeah. everything. Like, some people know something that we don't know, because why else would Exiton Knight's price go up like it has been? Free like, board wipe for no cost except for yeah. detail. <laughs> Free board wipe, yeah. But um, I feel like. He could come back to one, like, we're getting in a format to where decks are out of control, 
And you can't, you can't keep up turn one. It's just going to get blown up. Yeah, so yeah. big board. Next turn is a very, very hard one. Yeah, we need X time back bad. Um, yeah, he can. He makes a difference in decks. He can turn the whole game around. But um, definitely back at one for me as far as X time back. But one of my personal favorites. Look, I'm a big hero guy. I want Stratos to be free. Free Stratos, please. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's just. Yeah, like. So many Every deck, almost every good deck, has something like a Stratos. And the only reason I think Konami doesn't want to bring Stratos back yet is because they don't want another budget deck to rule the format. Because if heroes. Like, if heroes are already good now. Dark Lord himself is keeping heroes on the map. If they get Stratos back, that gives them access to Divine Wind and many more options, more rank four plays, um, and everyday life. Heroes deserve Stratos back. I don't feel like heroes should ever die. It's one of my favorite archetypes of all time. I mean, <laughs> I, I really feel like he, he could come back. I mean, he's, he's really good, but I say he could come back at one, and you'll see more playing heroes, and they'll be a lot better. And it's just, it's ridiculous how every deck has a strategy. Like I was saying, one of the best decks in the format, which is Draco Pals, they have a better strategy. He searches any Magician card, any Performer Power card, and any Odd Eyes card. Any odd -ass card. That is ridiculous. Same why? stats attack wise. Yeah, why, why can't Stratos come back? If we have Skull, Skull Crumbat Joker, come on, that's that's easy, man. The nail, same thing. The nail, everything. Um, another card that is kind of controversial. Um, I feel like El Shadar Construct. She could come back. I mean, you still got El Shadar Fusion at what one? Yeah. El Shadar Fusion's at one. Um, if you bring Construct back, it's really not going to hurt anything. I mean, at least a one, and not yeah, a three. It'll make it'll make Shadows playable once again. But I can guarantee you, with Construct that one, they won't rule the format because I can. I, I must say, Shadows have definitely been power creep. Yeah, they're still. I mean, they're good, but they can't. Keep, I know that they they wouldn't be able to keep up with Pepe. They wouldn't be able to keep up with Cosmos or anything. I mean, even with Infernoids, I feel like Infernoids have an advantage over them because since Shadows work out of the graveyard so much, they can just pick apart their, uh, their graveyard. And like, if you banish that one construct, the Shadows are virtually what they are now. Right. And <clears throat> it's just, it's so easy. And Probably the best version of it was Shadow Clowns. Yeah, Sh Shadow Clowns was really good. Our other friend, Dominic, he played it. And when he first brought it out to us, it was really good. It was a really good day. Very consistent. Um, now, as far as every, as far as that, um, was there any other cards? I'm trying to think. The Draco Slayers or Draco oh. Face Off, depending on how people look at it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel like... Draco face off is one of the things that is keeping Pepe as good as they are because I mean I use I use Draco face off and I see it every day when I'm playing that car if I rip that car it's like yes bam let's play this game uh, when Pepe uses it they it's so much more broken that car should definitely be at one but I feel like if they put it at one I don't really know if Pepe would continue to use the Draco Slayer engine or not. I mean, there are still ways to search the luster. Um, so they might, they probably will, but it's not going to be as fast. Probably bank on drawing it more yeah. than searching it out. Yeah. Um, I mean, they can still summon Magister and search it on their end phase. <coughs> and if Waver Nine does stay at, at least one. That's another way to search it. Um, if he's in the extra deck and you can't kill him that turn, he's coming back and that's another mystery. Yeah. Yeah, he 
he makes Eat This Through Live. I mean, if, if they end up banning um, Luster, then that'll just make Eat This Through Useless. <laughs> You're gonna look on the price of that, but unless you want to run like, Mask Chameleon, but that's about the only thing you can. Yeah, you could run Mask Chameleon. That, that is another way. That is definitely another way. Um, I mean, but you'll see a dramatic drop in Eat right. This Through. He'd be like 99 cents for the price of that. It's like tomatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like a mighty of fall. Now, um, the last card that we want to talk about from Pepe that I feel like is it's just too good. Um, any, I just want to say this. Any one card scales is too good. And that is Performer Power Monkey Board. That card needs to be banned. Um, at the Louisville Regional, uh, I, I had a Pepe guy top deck. I was playing Dynamis with the Draco Slayer engine before. But this guy, I had him top deck. He rips the monkey board and proceeds to win that game too. He rips the monkey board, activated, search out the lizard draw, activated, stupidly broke the pendulum something. <laughs> <laughs> stupidly broke the pendulum something. And he proceeded to kick my ass that game too. I mean, I ended up beating him in game three, but that car is really good. He ripped it, like, he ripped it. And it just made all his plays live and everything. And the one car scales just should not be good. I mean, I I, um, I can say, I can argue about, uh, what's the magician call? God, I No, uh, Pendulum Call, that's also a one car scale. Um, but I don't, I'm pretty sure Konami's not going to touch that because magicians aren't really... You need to discard that. Yeah, like at least with his recall, yeah, like That's he said, cost, you have to discard. And you might have to discard something that you don't, um, that you want to keep. So I don't think Konami's going to touch that card. Um, I mean, I used to hear a lot of rumors over that card getting hit. But this was before, you know, Pepe got really good, you know. Before Pepe, magicians were really good. They were like the original Pepe in a way. Yeah, but they could play the dungeon before the yeah. Pepe came. <laughs> but they're not really that good anymore. I mean, you still hear about them topping here and there, but they're not the best deck right now. So I don't think they're going to touch that. But um, I guess. The last card that we have to talk about is what was it? Life Equalizer. Life Equalizer Life is uh, one of those cards that has promoted OTKs within the past recent weeks. Um, I don't know who discovered this, these combos, but like whoever <laughs> did, you guys are geniuses. Too much time. But that card is very degenerate and unhealthy for the game, and definitely Konami should ban this thing. Either that or the Magical Explosion. One yeah, or two. Yeah, if you can, I mean, if they get Magical Explosion, then it's okay to keep the other and vice versa. Yeah. But the car should definitely be banned. I don't like it. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and duels where people use that, and it's just like, what? Like, yeah. you can't play. Yeah. It's not only saying one person counted it. Right? <laughs> that was Jeff Jones when he saw the morning his own self on Sirius, so he couldn't make it. They can't make up the difference. If if you can stop one spell or hurt yourself, then they can't make up the difference. Pro plays. Jeff Jones pro plays. But we just want to thank Team Innovation YGO again for allowing us to do this guest upload. You are awesome, bro. We appreciate that. And if you guys don't mind, please go to our page, Impact YGO. Subscribe. Please subscribe. And like our videos. We have a lot more content. We're upcoming, and we're trying to make it up there, man. We really appreciate that. Impact out.